what is a web service web service is a way of calling methods from one application of another application so in web service mainly there are two actors who are involved in it one is a server on which i have my web service and another is a client client is going to invoke the method it's nothing but client is going to call a method which is provided by the web service and a method may return or may not return the value or it is trying to perform some operation client is trying to call the method method may return the value or it may perform some action so the best analogy that we can take for a web service is telephone directory services now what is a telephone directory service a telephone directory service is a service in which you call uh, some number 411 or something and you ask for a business contact number now here there are three things which are involved one is you will be giving some input to the directory services say the name of the candidate or name of business and the medium through which you will be contacting with them the medium is nothing but your telephone and you are you will be communicating with them in some human language or some language that is nothing but your message format and your means of communication is some physical media like fiber optic cable something and finally you will be getting a contact number now if i relate the same thing for my web services uh, it's similar to your uh, telephone directory services here we have to pass some input parameter some query like you will be invoking a method by passing some input parameter if you relate this with the name for this telephone directory services so you will be passing some input parameters and your medium medium of communication is lan or i can say internet in many cases it is internet now my message format my message format is nothing but soap simple object access protocol is my message format whatever the input parameter i give that is converted into soap format and it is passed over the network and whatever the result i get is again converted to the soap format and i get the result in soap format so the message format is soap and http so i will be communicating through http and my message format will be soap and the medium could be lan or internet and i'll be passing some input parameter and in turn i'll be getting some output parameters so now i can say the major things which are involved in this is my input parameter my message format my way of communication through http and the output parameters now i have my web server and here i have my web service i have developed my web service say using microsoft.net and there is a client who is going to consume the web service the best thing about the web service is the client need not to have .net if a web service is developed using .net the client to consume the web service need not be a .net client the client could be a java client 
the output of a web service the web service which is available to us will be an xml file and this xml file is called as your wsdl web service description language so what is that i'll be doing i'll be consuming the web service means i'll be using this wsdl i will be passing a request to this wsdl and this wsdl is going to return me the result so i have developed my web service using dot net i am consuming that web service in java if i develop my web service using php again it has the same output the same the web service which is developed with php is available to us in the form of wsdl the web service which is developed using java is available to us in the form of wsdl the web service which is developed using dot net is available to us in the form of wsdl so what is it we have seen all the technologies they are following a standard way of communication so i have that standard way that is wsdl now i can communicate with any application which is developed in any technology if i have a application which is developed in any technology say application which is developed in java and i want to communicate with that application in the application which is developed in dotnet so the better way of communication is nothing but your web services so what is that i will do i will develop a web service wsdl and in my dotnet application i will consume this service i have an application which is developed in dotnet and want to communicate with the application which is developed in java so this thing i can achieve with the help of my web services so web services make this as language interoperable or i can say technology interoperable applications can be developed with the help of web services see uh, i have my web application and in which i need to implement some online transaction say i need to give my credit card an expiry date uh, of my credit card then a transaction takes place the account amount gets deducted from my account and gets transferred to the account of the website owner so this part this part is already being developed and it is provided to us as a web service so i can consume that web service from uh, say gateway services uh, i can use it and i can implement in my web application i need not to reimplement the thing one more thing is uh, if i want to have a search engine in my web application so what is that i'll be doing instead of implementing a complete search engine i'll be using windows live search web service or google web service so this is what all about your web services thank you